Hi, and welcome to the little apartment on the prairie. It is a really cold and windy afternoon outside. Um, I think we might get a little bit of snow this afternoon. It's colder now than it was this morning. The temperature's dropping. I've been working on this uh, afghan I'm making for a friend of mine. And I hope she doesn't watch this video and see it before it's finished and I give it to her. But I'm almost done. I'm just putting a little fringe around the edges, which is kind of the really boring part that I don't really enjoy doing. But, you know, it's an important... It looks, it looks nice, so I need to do it. So I'm working on that, and I thought I'd talk to you all a little bit while I'm working on it. I was going to talk about kind of ways to save money on heating your house or your apartment or whatever, and I'll tell you what I do. And there are some other things that you could do that I don't do. And please feel free to share your ideas or tips in the comments. Um, at first I was thinking, you know, winter's almost over. Maybe this video would be better left for next year. But you know what? It's cold out today and it's, you know, like never too soon to learn some ways to save money, right? So one of the things that I do, hi whiskers. Hi, kitty, kitty. One of the things that I do is I made curtains for my windows here. And I made two sets of curtains. I have summer curtains, which are just made out of calico. And then I have winter curtains, which are made out of two layers of flannel. And I was hoping that by making like heavier curtains, it would help keep out more cold air. And it does. Now, I know some people put plastic or bubble wrap over their windows in the winter. And I'm sure that helps keep in the heat, but I like to get the daylight. And when we have nice days, I like to be able to open up the window and air out my house a little bit. And we've had such a weird winter, you know, it'll be really cold for a few days and then it'll be beautiful like spring for a few days. And so anyway, I really like the curtains. They do block out a lot of light if they're closed, but I can open them during the day, get some sunlight in it makes a big difference. The other thing I do, even though I live in an apartment, is I have one of those stuffed, uh, I don't know, I call it a snake, but I'm not sure that's what it's really called. But, you know, it's a rolled up stuffed thing that you put in front of your door, like the crack at the bottom of the door to keep the cold air from coming under the door. And there's a gap under my door even though it's an apartment and cold air can come in and the hallways often feel really cold in the winter. And so I can't work on this blanket with you on my lap whiskers. So this way I kind of keep my heat inside and keep the cold air out. So another thing I do in the winter is I wear a lot of warm clothes in the house. Um, I didn't used to like to feel like I was all bundled up in the house, but you know, you see I wear sweatshirts all the time. Um, I have some flannel lined jeans I like on chilly days, and on really cold days I wear long underwear. And I wear wool socks, and on cold days I wear two pairs of them. Um, I don't have a hat on at the moment, but a lot of times I wear a hat in the house because I don't really have hair. And um, I'll wear a hat to bed if it's cold keeps me a lot warmer at night and you know just wearing warm clothes in the house keeps me warm when it's cold something else I found is that if I'm baking or canning or something that really warms up my house that's probably why my head is not cold right now I was canning some more water today and I have a video on canning water. I'll put a link down in the bottom if you want to check that out, uh, down in the description. But I was canning water and, you know, it got up to 74 degrees in here with my heat off. The heat wasn't even running. And it's like 27 degrees outside, but it's windy, so it feels like it's 12. And, you know, in here I have my heat off and... My head was warm because it was like steamy in my kitchen. It was up to 74 degrees. So I can try and do baking or canning and stuff on the really cold winter days because it helps warm up the house. I have a space heater in my bathroom because I like to be warm when I'm taking a shower. 
or even if I'm just getting dressed in the morning. So that way I can keep the rest of the house cool, but I can warm up my bathroom while I'm in there. So those are kind of my tips of things I do in the winter so that I can I keep my heat set on 68 degrees. Last year I kept it on 69. I've turned it down a little bit. And, you know, I used to keep it on like 71 and I thought that was chilly, but I've kind of gotten used to it being cooler. And, you know, different people are going to be comfortable with different temperatures, but there are things you can do to stay warm even if you're keeping the temperature down, the thermostat turned down. The other thing I want to mention is that if you have low income, there should be a heating assistance program in your state, and it's called something like the Home Energy Assistance Program, or HEAP, H-E-A-P. Um, in Nebraska, where I live, they call it LIHEAP, Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program. But if you Google Home Energy Assistance Program in your state, you should find out how to apply and they help you pay your heating bill in the winter. And in some states, they'll help you pay for cooling in the summer as well. Here in Nebraska, they'll only pay for cooling if you are 70 years old or if you have a medical condition that requires um, that you need air conditioning. Otherwise, they figure you should, I guess, pay for your own air conditioning or just be hot. But you do get money in the winter to help pay for heating. And this year I was given $400 to help pay for heating. And the money goes directly to your utility company. They don't send you a check, but you should definitely check into it if you have a hard time paying for heating in your home. Let me know what, uh, tips you have for keeping warm in the winter and keeping your electric bill down, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a good day.